chapter 10 measurement learning objectives at the end of this lesson students will be able to compare length observe and measure length using objects and body parts measure and compare weights and capacities of the objects warm up mr fox welcomes you to the world of the jungle observe the picture think and circle the appropriate answer who is smaller fox squirrel who is the biggest duck parrot elephant who is the tallest peacock giraffe let's revise some of the basic concepts take the one that is long short small big thick tall heavy thin light teachers note give the student pairs of objects for example a water bottle and a lunch box let them take those in each hand and divide which is heavier length measuring length using objects we can measure an approximate length of an object with the help of an another object the length of this pencil is equal to 8 razors watch and write length of the snake is about dash sharpeners length of the toothbrush is about dash crayons length of the book is about dash erasers length of the table is about dash pencils length of the bat is about dash pans length of the tube light is about dash pencils quick tip a longer body always has more length than a shorter body and it is big in size as compared to the small body measuring length using body parts we can measure the length of an object using body parts finger digit hand span palm cubit arm length foot span pace facts to know in ancient times the length of a foot the width of a finger and the distance of a step were all accepted measurements look at the pictures carefully measurement by finger digit measurement by hand span measurement by the palm measurement by cubit measurement by arm length measurement by foot span measurement by pace observe and measure use actual objects to measure the following object using your body parts one my task is dash cubits long two my pencil is dash digit long three my bat is dash hand span long four my mathematics book is dash palms long weight we can measure weight of an object with the help of weighting scale wing scale has two pans the lighter side of the wing scale moves up the heaviest side of a wing scale moves down if the weight on both side is equal then a pan it will remain at the same level look at the pictures and read the sentence carefully a lion is heavier than a monkey a monkey is lighter than a lion a crow and a parrot weigh the same watch and write one bat weighs as much as dash apples six mobiles weigh the same as dash toy six lemon weighs the same as dash oranges one pencil box weighs the same as dash mangoes 20 ants weighs the same as dash frogs a book weighs the same as dash bananas capacity we can measure capacity of liquids such as water milk juice etc using cups glasses mugs bottles jugs buckets etc look at the pictures and read the sentence carefully a glass can hold one glass of water a jug can hold eight glasses of water it means a glass holds less water than a jug a jug holds more water than a glass Put a tick on the heavier side in each set. Think wisely. Amira measures the blackboard. Amira's teacher measures the same blackboard. It is 8 hand spans long. It is 5 hand spans long. Can you tell why? Mental maths. Use the following body parts to measure the length. A. My desk is dash hand span long. 
B. My eraser is dash digits long. C. My blackboard is dash palms long. D. My classroom is dash foot spans long. E. The distance between the table and the blackboard is about dash paces. Maths lab activity materials required long ribbon strips in ice cream sticks. Steps 1. Take a ribbon strip and measure your table with it. 2. Mark the point up to which the ribbon strip comes. 3. Now use the ice cream sticks to measure the length of ribbon and note down the reading. My table is dash ice cream sticks long. 4. Repeat the above step to find the length of your shirt, skirt or trousers etc. Length of my shirt is dash ice cream sticks. Length of my skirt, trousers is dash ice cream sticks.